look on the bright side though. So another five weeks of this and days start getting a little bit longer again. Morning, hello folks, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to another video and welcome to the Vale of Beaver for a 200 kilometer Hordax DIY. And with me, behind me, got Paul Green. It was actually Paul that put me onto the route. I was going to say May this year and I just kept it in my back pocket, so to speak. And here I am now. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. How you doing? All right? Yeah, I'm not as fit as you, though. not been riding much. That's my excuse. Richard being Richard, he's carried on riding, hasn't he? Hundreds of miles. So what are you doing with yourself this morning? Well, I'm going for a different ride because I definitely don't feel fit enough for hills and I may just bump into somebody, you never know. So it's a lovely morning, isn't it? So it's very it's warm actually. I thought it was going to be cold when we left, but it is actually warmer than I thought now we're underway. So this is Denton Hill Down coming up. All right, is this one with potholes on the left? I think there are some potholes. Yeah. On my summer bike, I had a dreadful speed wobble down here. 47 mile an hour. Wow. Totally out of control, <laughs> speed wobbling. Best be careful then. Yeah, just yeah. definitely be careful. The uh, ducks are back. So we're just in Croston Corral. Or as I, apparently, as I call it, Croxon. <clears throat> Losing my voice a bit. How many ducks are there? Wow. <laughs> so it's flying down to uh, Nipton now. Morning. Towards the Beaver State for the first of three or four times I'll join this ride. I'm going to be going to the top and hanking left, I think. So we're going up a hill, yeah? Yeah, we're going up another hill. <laughs> and I've got, got a question for you, Paul, as oh, we go up this question, hill. Yeah. We just came off the A607 to Leicester. Yeah. And they got me thinking about Audax. Yeah. You said you might be interested in doing that. What about yeah. 2022? Maybe then, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I need to get seriously fit before then, though. Got but, plenty of time, haven't you? Yeah. Not your 600k ones, though. Maybe the 200. I mentioned that because in Audax you do you don't shy away from the odd A road and things like that. Because no. you kind of but ordinarily avoid them, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would, but I definitely need to train for it. I'm not strong on distance at the minute. All hills. <laughs> <laughs> right, I better swap chain rings. Maybe. It's not very efficient what I'm doing right now. I uh, just uh, left Paul Green at the bottom of the hill. He chose a good time to uh, go his own way. <laughs> He's heading over to uh, CVV, Cafe Velo Verde. Back in Eaton again, which is the village that I left Paul. He could have done this couple of hills. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the route up on screen. And the first 100k. This is that route I told you a few moments ago, 13 Hills of Beaver. Our first stop is uh, it's either 75k or 85k, and that's because I have to go around Beaver Castle twice because I'm hoping to bump into Paul again. And later in the day, down right there at the bottom of the route, my route, is Tugby. Got a couple of shop stops in there as well. Well, just one anyway, uh, Summer Bee. There's a shop there which is open till late, so I'm going to nip there. And there'll be other opportunities that present themselves throughout the day as well. As you can see, put the route together on ride with GPS. I call the ride, and I went to the extra effort of dropping some POIs down there as well, so I can look on my phone see where those are if I need to.
for those of you who might follow me on Strava, I kind of stopped a few times up on the way up Harby, not because I was exhausted or anything like that. Feet have been, been a little bit loose on the pedals, so I had a set of Allen keys with me, increasing the tension on both sides until I got the perfect sweet spot. Of course, another thing to increase the tension on your pedals is that you get better power through them as well. It's not just about safety, I can notice the difference straight away. Now I'm sure I've already mentioned it already on this ride. <laughs> no doubt I have. Because uh, I do like to talk about the weather. Very British thing to do. In particular, straight for the wind. So at the moment it's about 15 to 20 miles an hour. And I checked the weather forecast before coming out, of course. And it said it's going to be peaking. Average gusts 35 to 40 miles an hour. So that is very strong. And that's likely to fall as when I finish the 13 hills and start to head south. This means um, you'll be cracking tailwind all the way back. But I've got some questions for you. First question is the C word, and just recently that C word has been coronavirus. Uh, when it's November, it's that C word today is Christmas. I just wanted to ask, have you seen the new John Lewis advert yet? Yeah. What do you think to it? Me, I'm not really a big fan. I don't do, well I do do Christmas, but I'm not. I don't go overboard. I think many people that say at Christmas, it's just, as you get old, it's, it loses its magic, doesn't it? Have you seen the advert yet? Yeah. If you haven't, go watch after this. Check it out, let me know what you think. Which segues me perfectly onto the next question. My channel, what do you think to it? Is there anything you like to see on it? Well, I haven't done yet. Is there anything good you like on the channel or you want to see more of? Is there anything bad that you want to see less of? Or is there anything bad you know I think I could be improving upon? Things like that. Please be honest. I want to know down in the comments below. Okay, third and final question before I get to this T junction. And that third and final question Are you subscribed to my channel? If you're not, please, please, please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Um, it helps people find this channel. Um, if you are already subscribed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. And uh, either way, just keep on watching the channel. Got plenty to look forward to in 2022, including the coverage and uh, well, the run up to the Transcontinental Race, which has been confirmed in June, June 24th, I think it is that Sunday. Probably we'll talk about that in a future video, not today, but I'm really excited for that one training starts well it's not stopped <laughs> hey, hey, hey just turn on to uh, Staffan Lane next hill coming up all good so far that tailwind <laughs> made the most of it it's gone again 721 meters done less than a thousand to go I think although it's all academic in it Software is never very accurate. But right, I tell you what I've been thinking. I thought Garmin might get a little bit confused with all the overlapping going on. But so far, it's been all right. I think what has probably helped is the uh, route that I downloaded. I opened it up and there was no uh, control points on it at all. So on every junction I went through sticking control points all the way through it I think that probably helped so you know if you if that happens to you a lot try uh, editing the route a bit better stick some control points in it should help your psychic computer and of course it's good practice anyway to do that at your junction stick control points in either side of the turn or the roundabout or whatever it might be if you've ever thought about coming to the Bay or Beaver perhaps come spring summer next year there's lots of people on bikes around here. It's a very popular place to ride. And of course, one great cafe stop here as well, Cafe LA. If you go further north towards Nottingham, go check out Cafe Velo Verde as well. I'll be checking out, uh, well, there's four in the area, I suppose. I'll be, go I'll be going through Wymanham, past the windmill there. Don't think I'll be stopping there today. It's too soon after Beaver Castle. 
I will be going to Tugby. There's a cafe there, Cafe Vento. Ventu. I haven't stopped there for a long time. I think I'm going to be stopping there today. Why not? Been curbing my spending habits. A lot to save up for next year. Foreign holiday. Hoping to go somewhere in Feb. Tell you more about that another time. But I need to get some altitude climbing in in February. So it's a nice hot climate. One big mountain in the middle of it. Do you know what I was saying about cycling computers and environment GPS with elevation? Most of the way it was climb on the stiff bit of it. My Garmin was saying zero. While the uh, total ascent in the field next to it was pushing up ever, ever upwards. What's that all about? But it's quits itself now. Going like 12, 13%. Nearly there. Bit of a car park at the top for those lazy motorists to enjoy a view. It's not much of a view to be honest. I don't know why they bother. Okay, maybe it's not just for the views. Because there's a visit one. It's the uh, sheer number of walks around the Beaver, the Beaver Estate. Okay, making the left. Yeah, baby, all my exes is drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> baby, I should call and say, told you I'd be right. Wondering how long it was before you realized the biggest mistake of your life. And now you're paying the price. Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing. Your opinion on now, you know just what I'm choosing. I gotta do this. Baby, baby, this what flying feels like. Beaver Castle is well behind me. Stopped at Cafe Alley, had a nice cup of coffee. So I'm heading due south now, and that wind, as expected, has got up. Looking down at my computer, 1068 meters done. I was checking the uh, route back at Cafe Alley, opposite Paul Green, who arrived halfway through. 2,000 meters of climbing, apparently, according to, to uh, ride with GPS. Only halfway with climbing. Anyway, great ride so far. 13 hills. Well, I think that's practically it. I hope you enjoy watching these videos. I'm always uh, trying to put out at least twice a week. Once on Tuesday, half seven, and again, another one towards the weekend. Often that can be a Friday or Saturday, but a Tuesday, half seven, Pretty really consistent in doing those. Cafe Yvonne 2. I thought about not going because I'd stopped in Sigma Sports for about 10 minutes. Just catching breath because this wind has been. Oh, take my breath away. It is less than a mile on the road now. Half three in the afternoon, you might be to how tell how a door is in the picture. Look on the bright side though. So, another five weeks of this and they start getting a little bit longer again. I'm aware I've not recorded any of the stops today. And uh, well, Tugby were just stopped at the Cafe Vento. They had commercial music playing, shall we say. So you can't record indoors. So just stopped there, had a packet of Piper's Crisps, a full, cap, full fat Coke, and a bounty as well. Well, that'd be bounties in the pocket. So earlier I was saying I was going to stop in Summerby, go in the shop there. Well now I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to keep on going. It's 60k, most of which is with a tailwind, which hopefully I'll be receiving soon, about two miles up the road. Time-wise for this Ordax, not too bad. Looking like I'll be finishing around where I'd hoped it would be, somewhere around half six. I originally felt I'd probably finish anywhere between five and half six. I mean, I could save time today, but it's kind of a social ride as well. Nearly there. 
40 something k to go i think less than two hours now yeah being able to keep some nice speed up still the hills will always slow you down no matter how windy it is <laughs> oh look at that how amazing is that so this is kind of an unusual for this to one of my rides hope you enjoyed this video and uh look forward to seeing the next one i'm going to tuck in and enjoy this gigantic haddock cheers guys <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. Right. See you again soon. Bye bye.